Hi there, it's Lair Bear. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I think this is my first video that I will actually post because I've been trying to post for about a year and a half now without um, any success. But um, <clears throat> kind of wanted to talk about um, my day, I guess. Um, today is what is today? January twenty second. Twenty second. Um, which, um, it was Lunar New Year, so which is Chinese New Year, Vietnamese New Year, Asian New Year, basically. And, um, yeah, so, um, at the church that I went to, um, we did a little performance, at which my sister helped choreograph with, um, another one of the youth group, um, for the kids of the church. And it was really fun. Um, it was really fun. Um, had a great time watching them. I've, I've actually taught them for the last couple of years, but I um, don't teach the children anymore. Um, but um, it was fun. Um, they had a little fan dance. Um, I didn't record it, unfortunately, but um, if I find it, I'll link it to this video or the next video or something. <coughs> um, in the time I find it. Um, probably not this video, because I think I'm going to straight upload this, because I don't like editing my videos, so I'm going to try to do this all in one shot. And, oh, I shook the camera a little bit. And, um, my lighting system is a lamp and a lamp. So if my lighting's a little, little bit weird, it's... I'm just get off it right now. Um, oh, and this is what I wore to church today, so that's why I'm all a little dressed up. Um, I haven't changed, because I went out right after with a friend to lunch and about town. Um, we went to a little river walk side thing across this bridge where it was super windy on the bridge, but um, it was fun. Um, it was really nice out today, though it was windy only on the bridge. Outside of the bridge, it wasn't very windy, so my tie was going crazy, but um, it was fun. We had a lot of fun, and then in that time, um, I had a point to this video, I'll get there later. Um, <laughs> um, in that time, we, I was, oh, it's so windy outside. Um, I was sorting out my CDs, and let me just explain my CD obsession. Um, I love music, so, um, in general, like, all kinds, all genres, I'm a big, I probably get a new song at least every day, downloaded. Or, but I'm a big CD fan. Like, like having the CDs and the cases and the little booklets, looking at all the pictures, and then my favorite's when the songs have the words on the booklet, so I can find the words and stuff. Um, I, so I love CDs, so I end up having a buttload of CDs. And then for the longest time, I've just had, like, small, like, CD holders of them, or just the full CDs just flying around my car. Well, I finally buckled down and loaded everything into a giant CD case. Um, uh, this one is the 256 CDs um, one, and it's like pretty much full of CDs from all different genres. Um, some of the CDs I've had since I was a child. Um, like I have Disney Mania on here, um, the first one, up to like, number seven, which is the last one, because I'm a dork, and I've, oh, I'll put the female. Um, and then I have, like, um, I have a lot more. Then I have, like, the script, and then, like, and then I have just a bunch of random music that I, like, unknown artists or whatever, or not very popular yet, or hugely popular, like, Madonna. Like, I just have a huge range. Um, so, we... I did about half of these, and then I had my friend in the car do the other half, because the other half of the CDs were in the car, instead of in the room. So, um, I literally have... Thirty-six spaces left in this, so I have 220 CDs in here, and I feel like I'm missing a couple that are like 
in my car somewhere, that, like under the seats or something, or in my room somewhere. Um, so I feel like I'm missing a couple CDs in this. But that's how much I love my music. And when I was going through this, and the reason why I wanted to do this is I love listening to CDs in my car for some reason. I do have my phone and my tab that have like CDs loaded on it, and I do have thousands of songs on my tab, like thousands. Um, but um, I don't always want to put all of those songs on my tab or my phone. Um, so it's kind of fun to just, and then I don't always want to have all of those songs on there. Uh, but when I was doing this, I found some of my CDs I had since I was um, young. Like, I think the first CD I got sorry, this was um, my dad got it for me. Um, was, it was a. Okay, it was the Jump 5 All the Time in the World CD which um, I put in today, haven't probably heard it in years, and I knew all of the words to this episode. Like, Three Hands Up was my jam. And um, there's like a rap part, I guess you could say, they're like five white kids. So there was a rap part that I like busted out in my car. My friend was so hysterically laughing at me because I knew all the words from like, busting it out like I was like a hardcore rap star, um, which I'm not. Um, at me, but then I kept on looking through it and finding just CDs that I loved that were like 90s, like Bewitched, um, Say La Vie, like I loved that, and it got me on this kick of like, I would love to be able to find all those old bands that were huge in the 90s, like S Club 7, which I have their CD not in here for some reason, somewhere else, um, maybe it isn't here, um, but like all their amazing songs I, I still love them um and then like other random bands like nobody's angels which i have in here and um 18s but like those european kind of pop bands like uk that infuse like atomic cat and all those things like i remember those names but there's some like one hit wonders that i would love to be able to like find again at least not necessarily the cd just the songs or the names so i can look them up so if any of you guys can remember any of the great 90s stupid pop like bubblegum pop songs leave it in the comments below and i will try to find all those because i would love to be able to find those again um and that was my main point was i wanted to get my nine-year-old heart back to it.